I still see fuse panels. I still see them out there. Are we going to houses like, oh man, you still got a fuse panel? And the biggest mistake people do out there with a fuse panel is that fuse keeps blowing. They'll go from a 15 amp fuse up to a 20 amp fuse. And that's a no-no because now you're allowing the lines in the wall, especially if it's old wiring, to even get hotter. This is a big fire issue for your home. And that's only because we've gotten lazy and we don't want to keep changing the fuse. We yep. think it's okay. It's not okay. That's why if you have fuses, bring in a licensed electrical contractor and put in a new panel. And odds are you're going to have a little bit more electrical work to do in that home. How many times have I gone to a home and they said, Mike, we want a new bathroom. You know, maybe we'll do a kitchen too. And I, I signed the contract, we're going to do it. But when I actually look inside the house, my electrician comes in and he goes, man, this place needs to be rewired. There's no ground in the house. Now that's a problem. This becomes a costly thing. I'd, I'd like to really educate people to the point of when you buy a new home or an old home, especially an old home, that you hire a licensed electrical contractor to go take a look at it before you buy it. And, and to be honest with you, even when you're replacing appliances and things of that nature, something as small as that can, can have, uh, you know, extra load that's, that's tied into your load center. So as we start to think about electrifying the, the U.S. and Canada, you know, adding EV chargers or adding some appliances that may have at one time been gas powered and now are transitioning to electric, it's really important for us to do a quick evaluation of your electrical system to make sure a you can support that device and b really as a safety inspection we're not trying to make things more difficult here mike that's truly not what we're trying to do we're trying to make things safer